away from touchdown. The flight of Space Shuttle Discovery is nearing its conclusion. CNN's John Holloman joins us for the landing. John. Donna, Space Shuttle Discovery is in the final two minutes of its eight-day mission right now. It's coming down on a concrete runway at Edwards Air Force Base, and we have a picture of it there live uh, from an area, I guess, about 10 miles now away from the runway. The shuttle is traveling at less than 600 miles an hour, and it'll be on the ground in a matter, as we say, of about a, of about a minute and a half. It's coming down on a concrete runway at Edwards Air Force Base. NASA cameras have been monitoring its flight for the past 10 minutes, and from what they tell us, everything is working fine. These are cameras actually at Edwards Air Force Base as the shuttle makes its final turn across the runway. It'll be coming down on a concrete runway rather than on the dry lake bed, which is sometimes used for shuttle missions because there's been a good bit of rain in the Edwards Air Force Base area over the past several days, and consequently the lake bed is no longer dry. We'll listen now to NASA commentator Billy Deason as she talks us through the last few seconds of this discovery mission. Altitude is uh, 3,400 feet, and the equivalent airspeed is about 3,300 miles per hour coming around the uh, final, uh, coming into the final approach. Landing gear is locked in place. Hang gear touchdown. No nose gear touchdown as uh, STS mission mission STS 42 rolls out on runway 22 at an Edwards Air Force Base, California. Well, that is quite a picture. There are 3,500 people who got up uh, very early this morning to be there to see it live at Edwards Air Force Base. After touchdown, the astronauts will have to stay inside the Discovery until ground technicians remove all the leftover fuel from the various storage tanks aboard. Some of the fuel is poisonous, and nobody wants the astronauts to breathe bad fumes after completing this mission. The shuttle's braking system was improved recently, and it should take only about 30 seconds for Discovery to roll to a stop at Edwards. Imagine for a minute, if you will, that you've been cooped up in a closed area smaller than a school bus with six other people for eight days. Imagine there's no shower, and there have been problems with the toilet. Now imagine what's going through the minds of the shuttle astronauts at this moment. Norm Taggart told ground controllers a couple of hours ago a shower is at the top of his wish list right now.